Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Uh, time once again for my pseudo cast, and before I get underway, let me um let me crack open a can of V8 Energy, pomegranate blueberry flavored. So get ready for some pops. Okay, and uh, and this time around, I am totally winging it. Oh, and uh, or I'll probably explain more about this here in a bit, but. But uh, I didn't, I didn't jot down any notes for this one, um, so I am just going straight off the top of my head. Um, but anyway, let me uh, let me get this going. This is the art of pinball. Um, I watched about 15, 20 minutes of this already, and I figured, man, this would be something cool to do on a, this would be something cool to do on a live stream. You know, like go on the Twitch art channel and just sit there and do commentary on it. Um, but. But uh, this is kind of risky, cause there is actual music playing in the background. But it's like just, it's just light piano, you know, like a few, you know, a few piano tinkles here and there. You know, nothing, no, no grand Beethoven or Chopin pieces or anything like that. So, and I'm hoping I don't get too distracted by this. But like I said, I, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, live, uh, doing a stream of this. Just, again, just doing commentary on this video. Because it does last like an hour and a half. So. And because I can't really think of anything else, I figured, might as well go with this. So. Alright, but let me do a sound test on this first. And yeah, this is really gonna jack up the file size. But like I said, it, I wanted to, I wanted to use this the moment I saw this. Okay, but oh, and um, but the reason why I'm doing a pseudo cast on Saturday morning is because I had a call in last night, because um, because my my pretty much from head to toe, my whole body was just aching. So it was a pretty rough it was a pretty rough night Thursday night Thursday night Friday morning so but it's especially my lower back and the front of my shoulders they were really hurting so I had a so it I had to call in but in plus on top of that it was a huge freight night last night so if it was a I mean if it was like a small freight load then uh, I I'd have had you know I'm I might have might have got in, you know. It wasn't that much to deal with, but now it's no, no. So. But yeah, there's a. I think uh, last time I called in, I think there was either six or nine other people that called in as well so and a lot of a lot of a lot of us people on the crew we're all getting up there in years like I'm 49 um there is there is at least three people that I can think of right now that are actually older than I am I mean we're all some broken down hurting units so they can't be flipping out too much when we call in more often than than they think we should And I think um, and I do work in retail, so there's um, so there's already a pretty big pressure to perform. Like we're all on a, we're all on deadlines and timetables and what night and whatnot. So we have to, so we're we're often put under pressure to get all this stuff done. And then couple that with our age, and especially me that's been doing a manual labor and heavy lifting for the better part of 30 years so yeah the years have taken its toll on me so okay I gotta do something okay I had to turn it down a little bit from my end because it was getting a little loud um 
But, but yeah, I gotta, but I have this feeling that I'm probably end up gonna get my butt chewed big time, you know, because how dare me, you know, to me it's a little hypocritical because of, uh, if one of my co-workers called in, I'd have had no problems with it. I would have understood you had your reasons. Okay, this guy here is getting, it just kind of occurred to me, this guy here is getting a little pedal burp. Oh, damn, pearl necklace. Yeah, it just now kind of hit me. Yeah, there was a lot of sexism. Or, at least in my opinion. My, these are, uh, here. Let me, let me, let me wait a moment. Back in the day, this wouldn't have been considered racism. It would be these days, though. Man, cancel culture would eat that up. Star Trek, I remember this table. I was, um. Uh, I was a little kid, I was probably like eight or nine. Um, we were living in an apartment complex. And uh, in the rec room there, like it had a swimming pool and stuff, it had this table in there as well, Star Trek. I uh, what? I think it was probably one of the first tables I ever saw too when I was a little kid. This pretty much, this, uh, this pretty much, this pretty much sparked my love of pinball right here. Skulls for tits. Um, but otherwise, um, I pretty much spent most of my night just, um, I was watching my uh, pinball documentary special when lit. It's like the uh, second or third time I've watched it. Xenon. Then, um, but yeah, I've just been watching a fair amount of other pinball vids. I've been on a roll pinball kick lately. Uh, but uh, I've also been playing a fair amount of pinball as well, but just did average. You know, didn't really, didn't really consistently suck ass or anything. But you know, I wasn't I wasn't exactly beating any high scores either. You know, I almost wish you wouldn't do that. Like show artwork, you know, like the like the logo and stuff, like making it blatantly obvious as to what the game is. Centaur. Paragon. Uh, don't know that one. Pride of Pinbot. But yeah, this is something I want. This is something I wanted to do. Like, I, but like I said at the start of the stream, or at the start of this cast. I want to do a I want to do a live stream of this, just comment you know doing commentary and all the artwork. Oh, this one too. This one too. Hold on, hold on. Roller disco. It was this table, and or the Star Trek one that I mentioned. There are the I there probably the first two that I saw, that that uh, sparked my love of uh, pinball. Yeah, I remember this well. I was a little kid. I was a little kid. Look at him. Wow, they got big boobies. So. Oh, Spider-Man. Yep. I recognize the vulture. But anyway, yeah. But like I said, I've been on a real uh, pinball kick last night and today. Just um, you know, just watching some pinball vids and. Playing some pinball myself, I kind of have half a mind to make the 20 mile drive down to the bowling alley, which has a bunch of pinball machines. But the problem is, is one, they're excuse me, they're super duper expensive. But and two, um, so a lot of them are poorly maintained, like uh, they're not leveled properly and stuff. Like you'll see the ball. You see the ball that it would normally roll straight down the table, all of a sudden start. Veering off towards the right, that kind of thing. Give me your money. One of my all time favorite tables, right here Black Rose. It's another fave of mine, right here. 
But like, but like I said, um, I didn't really write anything down. Didn't really jot down any notes, so basically just overall laziness. I mean, I mean, hell, I can't even all. I couldn't even do any exercises at all after I called in. My, I mean, my body was still pretty much hurting. I'll turn my neck and ow. So. I'll still, um, I'll bend forwards and my lower back, you know, it'll still, I'll still feel this, ow! So, you know, and one of the reasons why I went to part-time was to hope, in the hopes of avoiding all this, but now it's actually getting to where I'm come. but, uh, now I'm uh, coming into work at least an hour, hour and a half earlier than I normally do. So, I just whole lot of extra a whole lot of extra working and walking around and all that so it's all like the point is moot and I pretty much have to do it now um I, I it used to be it used to be uh breaking even just to break even or maybe even um uh, maybe make a little bit of a sur you know a little bit of surplus cash but now it's a slow trickle I mean my freaking bills are my freaking bills are going up you know I mean Cable's going up, and I think I said this in one of my other casts too. My fucking cable bill's going up for no apparent reason. And yes, I have, I have called from time to time, you know, asking to lower it. But um, I think they're saying um, I'm, I'm part of some kind of promotional package. Promotional pack, excuse me, promotional package. And uh, if I try to opt out of it, it'll go up even more. Hell, it's going up as it is, so I might as May just as well give those guys another call. The big problem is, is ultimately, um, they're holding all the cards because of my apartment complex. I can't, uh, I'm only allowed, um, uh, one of two ISPs here. Apparently, uh, the landlady has some kind of exclusivity contract with these two. And, the uh, the second one that I could have gone with, I know they'll try to scam me. They, they've, in the, um, other house... The other house I used to live in, that's exactly what they tried to do. They had me in a contract, but they also had me up. They also up. Stiffed me with DSL that didn't even work. I tried to opt out of the contract, and even the tech, even the uh, technician guy was telling me the same thing. Uh, I'm located so far away from their, their, um, internet substation or whatever it is. I'm so far away from it. I'm getting the poorest portion, or... I'm only getting a slight trickle, for lack of a better word. I'm only getting a slight trickle of the internet that everybody else, like those that are closer to the substation, are getting. I mean, the technician was saying the same thing. So, opted out of my opted out of my contract. They were going to try to stip me for uh, 400 bucks. I'm like, uh, no. No, uh, your DSL isn't working. The internet's not working. I mean... I mean, that's their fault, not mine. Then they tried telling me that uh, I never returned my modem. My modem in court. I'm like, but bullshit, I keep, you know, I walked right through the damn door and handed it to you guys. You know, so, not dealing with them anymore, so that leaves me with one only option now. Fucking charter. And again, my bill's going up. But again, it looks like I'm going to have to give them another call, but ultimately, they can do whatever they want. And if I do try to go to another, another internet provider, I'll get um, it'll be a lease violation. So, you know, and, and, and don't say, oh, they're not gonna check, Joe. They never do. Uh, it's easy to say when, you know, when it's not your lease or when it's not your, your roof over your head. So I'm pretty sure the moment I do that, I'll get slapped with a lease violation, so fuck you. Or here, you know, let, here, let me have your driver's license as collateral, or here, what, here, you know, want to, you don't want to put down a 5,000, or, hang on, hang on, want to put down, put, here, give me an $8,000 deposit, you know, that way, so, when I do get my lease, you know, when I do get my other ISP and get my lease violation and all that, so, you know, and then up, uh, and I'm risking getting evicted, you know, 
I'll have that deposit money and I can get another place. You know, that kind of thing. You know, you, I guess put your money where your mouth is. I guess would be the phrase I'm looking for. So, you know, but anyway, yeah, anyway, basically, my hands are tied. So. Oh, wait, I remember this. Hang on, let me back up. I think it was here. Oh, yeah. My God. I'm guessing it was uh, right about this time when uh, breast implants started coming on the scene. Because... Because, my God, those are fake as hell. <laughs> but, um, now that I think about it, another table, Elvira and the Party Monsters... Man, they drew her, they drew all virus boobs so fake, man, so fake that uh, I'll bet you even she, even she looked at the back glass and like, oh come on guys, they're not that fake, are they? And, you know, which I, uh, I could probably, I could probably uh, look at a picture of her and they probably aren't. And I'm kind of hoping that YouTube doesn't flag this video either. But like I said, I'm taking a big risk by doing this. So, Fireball! One of the first tables to have a spitting plate. But yeah, in all fairness, at least they're being drawn naturally. You know, they look natural and stuff. I mean, a lot of these back glasses, I mean, they came out years before, uh, Plastic surgery first came on the scene. I think this is the thumbnail right here. Okay, but um, otherwise, again, since I don't really have much else to say, and again, I didn't really, um, never really got around to jotting down some notes, so... And a little past 15 minutes, so I'm just going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. So, but until then, thanks again. Thanks for again. Thanks again for coming around, everybody. And see you all next time. Bye now.